Howdy, Buffalo Bart here, and welcome. All right, I'm in the process of converting this map over, just to see how things are going. All right, so if you're not familiar with this, this is the um, the dungeon pack from Cindy Studios, and so far all I've done is just add the uh, player start and the game mode, and we'll hit play. So, you can see I got the character switched over. do have a time limit, but I'll see what we can do to adjust the uh, thing there. There's nothing in here, no enemies, no nav mesh bounds, nothing just yet. Alright, so I'm not a very big fan of the uh, action RPG. Uh, because to be able to turn, you have to move the mouse, and to be able to move the mouse, you actually have to um, swing, either left click or right click, to be able to get there. Oh no, I can't fit! Damn it! Alright, so when you run out of time, you just run out of time, and it's game over. Yeah, it took a bit of doing to get the... Uh, the animations and all the montage and everything to work correctly, but game over. All right, so it's got some cool elements to it, but ugh, my God. Well, first thing we need to do is nav mesh bounds. The volume nav mesh. And let's try to zero this out a little bit. We're going to have to scale this up quite a bit or put multiples in because, as you can see, this is actually kind of a long map. So let's uh, stretch it in the Y by 25. Right now, let's go ahead and move the camera speed up. Well, how's everybody doing? Yep, we're going to have to go bigger than 25. Let's go 100. And let's go 10 on the Z. Damn, a hundred is not going to be wide enough. So we can just scale it. You know what? Let's just do 150. Almost there. 175, and that's my final offer. <laughs> So, yeah, we need to stretch the Y as well, or the um, the X. That's way too much. Let's take it back down to 160. And just move it back. Do 15 wide. That should give us everything that we need. Probably not going to worry about that, but. You know, I'll just move it over a little bit. And let's do. Final offer, 45. Now the reason why we're doing that is so we can put the bots in here. And let's hit P. Yeah, that's good. As long as they can walk, that's good. Probably not gonna be able to use all of it anyway, but let's put some spawns in here. Um, save this. Alright, to get the Polygon Dungeon characters in here, what I've had to do was 
do the usual retargeting, retarget the animation montages and the animations. Well, that's the easy part, you know, animation um, blueprint as well. But um, one of the things that I've actually had to do was, well, we need some pickups in here, but we'll get to that in just a minute. Um, in the blueprints folder, I haven't redone the enemies yet. Oh, yeah, there is no quick and dirty, easy way to set up the um, the character to work with um, the correct animation blueprints. Um, I had to go in and fix things in the animation blueprint. I had to go in and fix things in, you know, like simple do a melee attack. You would think would be right here, but it's not. Um, I had to search quite a bit. Yeah, and it's, it's not that difficult to do. It does take some fidgeting to get things to work correctly. Um, you got all the different animation notifies and so forth. But if you look at the actual um, animations, like animation montage, it's got the animation uh, notifier, anim notifies in. It's got sounds added in to the montages. Annoying to watch looping, but... So the animation montages were pretty well put together, but the easy part is just go ahead and grab this through here, right click, retarget, and go through and just retarget the animation montages. It will take care of all of the animations that it needs. However, you're going to end up with a few that didn't get carried over. So you're going to have to go through. What I had to do was um, check all the regular animations. There's 23 of them. And I had to compare that with the original animations and find out, okay, and go one by one, which ones didn't. Yeah, I thought about a samurai pack with this. Um, that would actually probably work pretty good too. Um, yeah, this is just, it was a pain. It was a pain to get everything just right. So with the way this actually works, I can actually put multiple spawn boxes in. So we'll put one in here and it will split up the, um, the spawns based on the different uh, spawn locations. So I'm just going to put a couple of them in here. And I'm pretty sure we're not going to get this far because of the time of it. That's another thing that I want to take a look at is the actual um, Hey, how's it going, man? Because I don't want to be limited by okay, Wave 1. Now, I've already got a buttload of freaking um, uh, first aid kits. But I'd love to be able to take better control of the, the view. Alright. Well, do they not spawn? Well, see, you guys know that whenever I do things, I, I retarget and do a different um, skeleton. Oh, see, I don't like the view. Got the experience. Come on. Game over. Yeah, I don't like the time limit thing. So, it's working. But, let's see what we can do to find this timer. Um, doing the NPCs won't be a big deal. Um, there's just four animation montages to retarget. Um, there's, I think, like four or five. And see, the other thing is, this is also set up to work as a mobile. So if you wanted to, once you, because of the way the action RPG is set up, 
you can actually just um, do a build for it as a, um, a mobile platform. Um, this uh, dungeon pack is a little bit intensive. I've been told by some potato computers that uh, they have a hard time running this. Let me go to here. Um, well, I didn't put my uh, my multiplayer in here yet because this is a single player setup. Um, yeah, that'll be something for another time. To actually make this a multiplayer cooperative, where you can actually um, go into a lobby, create the game, and then be able to um, run this as a cooperative. You use this map right here, maybe build another custom map or whatever just more or less just kind of figuring out this asset pack to see if it's worth going into all of this versus um, just building my own from the ground up because you have this um, nah they if you want me to just do that next and I will because it's not going to be that big of a deal um, Great Spider and Gruntling. You've got um, basic animation here. You got Skeleton. It does not have all of the pieces parts, um, which is going to be interesting. You do have a root, pelvis, thigh, calf, foot, um, spine, one, two, three, neck, head, um, clavicle. Um, yeah, maybe yes and no on that. Um, the hardest portion of that is going to be basically everything is set up as a single player mentality and it's just not going to translate well. Everything is going to have to be rebuilt. This skeleton's got most of the pieces parts that we're going to need. They just have some weird freaking names. And you got, um... This socket here with a preview asset. So I just have to copy over those. Uh, the retarget manager, it's already set up as humanoid. So you can see it's already got all the, the pieces parts already listed into the, um, the retargeting. Um, you see, that's where I, I have no problems just actually building this myself and can probably do something similar to it in a relatively short amount of time. So I don't like converting stuff unless I've got to. It's usually more of a waste of time trying to convert somebody else's stuff to make it work. But, you know. So let's look at the standard grunt and grunt guardian here. Because you've got um, three different meshes that use the same skeleton. So it shouldn't be that bad. Um, yeah, you got your C++ classes there, but when you look at things like um, your player, your NPCs, um, a lot of it is actually in blueprints, and the majority of it is in blueprints. Um, but, yeah, so we'll just burn one bridge at a time. So what do we got here? Blueprint classes for level 1, 2, and 3 goblins. Shouldn't be a problem. As when you go in here, get a viewport. Hello. You got your basic grunt. Now, the thing is, is I've got the dungeon pack installed in here. And I could have put some of the other ones in. You know, whichever one that I wanted. But I just threw one in because I figured this would suit well with this dungeon map. Um, characters... I love the ghosts. Those are cool, too. Uh, we do have goblins, so we could just use the regular goblin mail. Um, and then for boss, you know, without having to put the um, another asset pack in here, we could always use, like, Skeletal Knight or Rock Golem or whatever else for... Um, or Tormented Soul for the thing. That would actually be cool, actually, to set it up to where it actually rotated. Yo, what's up? 
I think what we can do for now is retarget and use this guy. He's holding a sword because he's already using the skeleton of the player character, which is going to be interesting. Um, because the NPC base, if I retarget that, let me actually go in here and create a new folder structure for what I'm doing. Poly characters, um, animation. So let's just go ahead and create a new folder in the poly character for NPC. And why not? Let's just do grunt animations. Because we are already have that set up to work on a regular skeleton, the regular SK Polygon skeleton, um, if, the reason why I do like this is so that I can bring other asset packs in here and without changing the animation blueprint structure, I just retarget them or just reassign the skeleton to use the skeleton and I can control a lot of freaking characters. So if I go in here to the NPC grunt animations folder and then we look here, um, first thing that I want to look at is actually the animation blueprint. So let's right click on this. Before we do, let's look at the skeleton again. Um, grunt. Oh my god, it's in a T pose. The hell were you thinking? It's in the correct pose. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's go back here. Right click, or retarget, polygon. Let's change the output folder to poly character, NPC, grunt, animation. Um, before I do that, I actually want to be in a dedicated folder for the animation blueprint. Don't you know why, but I, do, I like doing it that way. Now how dare somebody from Epic actually use a frickin' T-pose? The hell were they thinking? Oh, yeah, they were using common sense. <laughs> My bad. So, let's, let's just see what happens. NPC, grunt, animations, animation blueprint, okay, and retarget. Save all. Pause it for a second. Let's actually change it over to the... I love the Tormented Soul. That's <laughs> just one of my favorites from this. Goblin Mail, apply to asset, and play. That one works just lovely. That looks terrible. <laughs> But that's that's what it is. It is what it is. But they retargeted just fine, though. Gonna have to fix the sockets. Um, but goblin mail apply to asset save. I didn't save that one. Any other one. Apply to asset, save. <laughs> it looks kind of funny, but it are what it are. Add grunt. Goblin mail, apply to asset, save. 
but that'll work. It'll run. So that works just fine. Intro summon. I like some of these intro, you know, like the summons and that kind of stuff. Character. Okay, I'm just gonna roll with it the way it is, and then the animations seem to be working just fine on that. So let's go ahead and get the um, oh, got some more here. Grab. Before we do that, let's actually go ahead and there was some animation blueprints. Not animation blueprints, but um, montages. Yeah, those things. <laughs> um, so got those animations there. Um, I swear I saw a animation montage animations NPC all right so we'll grab these and let's go ahead and retarget those change the folder NPC grunt animation so there's four animation blueprints, or a montage is right here. So how many actual animations were in that? So you had the four, and then these were the animations that went with it. Save all. Then, so we got cast, death, small, three, five, sword combat, react heavy front, and knockback front. So I'm going to grab these then. You were saying this is going to be hard, right? Change. Grunt. Animation. Okay. Retarget. All right. So... So each of these, I'm going to have to go back through. I don't have to, but um, Goblin Mail. Because the animation blueprints should actually dictate which mesh it's actually using. Well, it is easy. Why was it supposed to be hard? <laughs> I mean, it's almost like I've done this a couple times on, on different projects and stuff. Thankfully, though, this one right here is been relatively easy for the most part. That's good. It's not like that um, Paragon shit. <laughs> So, even though it's not necessary, um, I'll go back through here and just do these really quickly. Well, see, actually, I'll, I'll leave the rest of them alone because they're going to work one way or the other. So, um, animations. So, we got all those in. Agrocast, death. 
Agra A cast death, yeah. So we got those in here. Um, let's go ahead and take care of this one. Polygon skeleton. Yeah, it's actually almost like I've done this with Cindy Studios characters before. Yeah, see if one thing that I requested from people many moons ago was all I want from the Paragon characters is to have them specifically and all the animations specifically set up to work correctly with the UE4 mannequin skeleton. And take but the thing is, is all those characters, each one has their own set of animations. So would have to take all of those characters and each one of those characters it's almost a freaking gigabyte per freaking character. So your project would end up being huge if you had them all in there. The game was just really poorly optimized to begin with. Um, which is one of the things that annoyed me with trying to work with it is just so much crap to go through to get any of them to work correctly. Now, I haven't done anything with the spider yet. Um, hmm, yeah, that's going to be a whole different ball of wax. So now, um, the next battle. NPC spawn box. There's nothing in there. Nothing in there. Delightful. Um, NPC goblin blueprint. Look at the viewport. Why you gotta be right there? So if we click on the mesh, you can see it's using NPC and MVP base, which is the one we've already retargeted. So let's see what happens when we change out this to Goblin Mail. Um, what is with that? This should be the right material. Which tells me that something is calling a different frickin' material to it. Dynamic material. Goody! Um, before we start hammering into that, change the anim class into... Oh shit, we didn't change the damn name of it! Um, if you do screw up like that, instead of having to redo everything all over again, which I should have renamed it, but since I have it in my own dedicated folder, I can select it here, and then go back in here, and hit the arrow. So, see, good to go on that. Ah, we now have a material on him. Now, He's not going to have a weapon yet, because I don't have the um, the socket finished yet. So these are all good to go. We don't need any of these folders open. We just need this. To that, to that, and then... Level 1 Goblin. Get our mesh. So, we can actually do the same thing here. Go into Goblin Mail. Well, worst case scenario, if you pick the wrong one, it just won't work. Alright, so the Goblin Mail, and for a level 3 Goblin, let's actually, since he's got a different look to them. Let's go to Mesh and Skeleton Knight. Compost and save. So we have a different character in here now.
So that's good. Let it work. Um, just for shits and grins, let's just hit play. They're not going to have the weapon socketed correctly. So they won't be able to attack. So we need to fix sockets next. You just gotta fix the um the weapons. Alright, so let's um let's change maps just to um get on a smaller map that's um easier to see what's going on. I'm waiting for this to, to load and Oh, well, um it helps put the NPC spawns back in. Uh, do, 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 um, enemy, all right, where was that thing? I gotta fix the, um, the sockets on them, okay, BC spawn box, so just drag it into the map, and there we go, wave one. Hey, hey, you can't touch me. Still gotta change weapons out and that kind of stuff, too. But you said doing the NPC was gonna be hard. <laughs> It wasn't hard. I'm sure I'll find something that will stump me. Um, when need. That skeleton. Huh. Interesting. But now, we need... Weapon H. So I'm going to right click on it and copy. And then, since we use the same skeleton without actually um, changing skeletons for the actual creature itself, I just need to go into my mesh folder, open up this guy, select the root, and paste sockets um where did it go eyes and eyebrows okay weapon h right there where is weapon h show up okay so let's actually delete it um your weapon h is right there. Okay. Interesting. Um, okay, so we need that one. Copy selected bone. Let's go back to root and paste sockets. What was it called? BMF weapon. Where the hell did I put it? Well, let's just do um, it's hand socket. 
weapon, weapon zero. Let's just try doing it here. Um, where the hell is it? Copy selected bone. Want to copy the socket. Where is it? Copy selected bone name. Okay, hand R. Okay, well, let's just try copy socket again. And. See these, I, I didn't get how they, and how and why they did those. Um, hand socket there. Uh, Okay, I keep pasting this damn socket in here, and it's not showing up. Weapon hand H. Um, and it's weapon H. That actually needs to be off of hand R. That's better. And its position is right there. So if we change that weapon out, which I'm not worried about, um, we just grab it and it should be about here. I didn't, I didn't see this because it was listed differently on the bones and everything else. Um, let's just see. Alright, see, it's there, but not in the correct place. It's either that or they're really happy to see me. I don't know if you can tell, but it's it's right there between their legs. Some sort of focus would be nice here. Alright, so that's that. And that socket I had to put onto the right hand that socket was actually on another socket that was created here an actual bone this is a bone this is a socket and so I had to create that socket instead of creating a new bone um, so we're probably gonna have to do a little bit of a mild change here we'll leave those guys open for right now uh, Let's go back to their blueprints. No, um, NPC. Okay, so looking at the viewport, it's got no weapon there. Nothing hanging in between his legs. Not that I was looking for anything else, but um, mesh. Weapon transform. Attach a weapon. Weapon transform. Alright, so right there. Socket name. BMFs. Um, so that's the socket that it's actually trying to put it to, and it's not able to get to it. BMF weapon R. Because you see, BMF weapon R is right here. It's actually a bone name. We don't have that bone. We have a socket that we could probably put it into, which is weapon H. Copy selected socket. There was, um, 
No, I can't do it. So it's just capital W and then capital H. Weapon H. All right, so let's see what happens now. All right, it's there. Better. But you can see now it's not in her frickin' hands. It's just like floating around. I like it when they can't fight back, though. part here. So we got it to that part. It's there. And let's snap to target. Um, now, there's some other issues we're going to have to resolve as well. Um, weapon. Guardian weapon actor. Because it's calling for a montage and I've noticed that it still showed the old actor there. Um, let's make sure we're in the right one. Okay, so let's look at the Atom Graph. State Machine. Summon. No, it's the right one. Poly Character. Um, Locomotion. See, I wish it would show that. It doesn't show the actual location. But I'm going to assume that at worst, because they were moving. And that's fine. Um, so there is nothing in here that's going to be needed to change. There was. This is where you had to hunt and peck and try to find exactly where the hell this thing was getting its information from. Characters. NPC. So, inside the event graph, if you look, it's just got attached weapon and you see abilities and that is where we're gonna have to look we'll come back to these guys later grunt no because nothing else is going to be inside here this is all going to be the same stuff um, these are just child actor blueprints. Ability system component inherited. Um, Anim notifies. Not going to be in there. Abilities, enemies, goblin. No, it's just I don't like. The, the way you look around. Goblin melee. Alright, so this is one. Um, it is referring to the wrong animation montage here. So, we've already retargeted them, so we just select the other one, and then compile and save. The other one with the same name. Range. Oh, guardian attack. Guardian attack. And that's it. Just going through finding these abilities. And it was just those two right there. Uh, melee and ranged. Shouldn't be anything else. So now, come in here. Yep. Didn't 
an attack now. Just need to fix the uh, weapon hold. I'm stealing some first aid kits. Ah, I'm dead. No. Alright, so. I um, need to fix the weapon holds. So let's go back to. Hmm. No, our skeleton. So let's get rid of that. So we have weapon H. Let's go ahead and add a preview asset. Um, I think it's the one that they had. So yep. That would be a problem. So let's take a look again and see how they look. Alright. Yeah, no problem. See, I can't... I want to be looking more at my character. If I'm clicking over here, I want to attack this way, not the direction I'm currently looking. So I just need to move the uh, position of the um, weapon back. Again. Oh no, we have a slight problem there. I picked up the cool weapon and I can't use it. So we gotta take this and use specific animation and let's find That's good enough. Yeah. Well, yeah, one thing at a time. I think the next thing will be to actually change the weapons out. So we're not using the default weapons from here. That should fix that. So... Oh no! I have no weapon whatsoever. Leave me alone! No one has any weapons! Um... Hmm... So, enemy-wise, they're doing that correctly. We'll come back and, and change their weapons around. Blueprint... Okay. Um... That was gonna be in the abilities again. Player X. That's correct. Hammer. Ah, I didn't change you out. Um, that will be part of that. Do I have a hammer? There. It has no weapon whatsoever. I know I changed potions. I, know I, I, I thought I changed them all, but... And skills. Oh, I know. It only has 33 souls. And I'm cheating. Yay. Um, skill. 
Fireball. Confirm. Huh. Carry more than one weapon? Okay, well that's good enough. Um Well it's working. Oh, oh, oh. I think next is a weapon swap. So the save game does work, and you actually um, get the monies. Let's try an autoplay, see if that works. And no. Um, let's see why the autoplay is not working. Are you guys attacking? Oh, hell yeah, you're attacking. So that works. Um, so we don't need the abilities folder anymore. We don't need the animations folder. Blueprint weapons. Goblin weapon. There we go. Well, axe and weapon base and torch. Um, let's take a look at our weapons first. Um, we got axe, greater blade. Guardian, Weapon Actor, Hammer. Well, I see, um... Okay, well that doesn't look like a hammer. Looks like a maze. That looks like a hammer. Um... Sword... Talon. Was there other swords? Yeah, Black Knight. So we got two swords to work with here. Although that is kind of a cool looking sword. Um, we need to actually change that out. Skeletal Mesh is what we're using, so that's nice. Alright, Cindy Studios. Oh no. No. Damn it. These are static meshes. They're not skeletal meshes. No bueno. Alright, well let's start with the black talon here. Skeletal mesh. Damn, 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 damn. Okay. Two possible approaches to doing this. This looks like kind of a their common sword. So we need a common sword. And we got some fancy stuff here too, so. Um, oh, I like that gravestone shield. That's cool. Um, ornate, ornate, great sword. Cutlass. You can fix that problem though. Pretty damn easy. Um, Cutlass. Or great sword. Goblin machete. Here's the cutlass. For the standard sword. It looks too nice. Um no. Um let's try one more. Yeah, I think that'll work for now. A little on the long side, but that's to replace that. Now, we have a skeleton, uh, a static mesh, 
and we need a skeletal mesh. Two possible ways to go around this. Um, so we're set for sure on what we're going to use. Um, You know what? Yeah, I think we're just going to go ahead and go with this one right here. So, it is a static mesh. We can cheat a little bit here. Static meshes. Oh, that's more things we can change out of the potions. Um, okay, I'm going to make a new folder here. And this is so I have a, a new place to put things. Um, assets. Um, yeah. We'll just do a mesh folder. Okay, so we have a blank folder here to work with, a new mesh folder. Um, we need to take the weapon that we want to use, which in this case is going to be, um, great sword. We're going to right click. Asset Actions, and we're going to Export. And I'm going to just give it a temporary export location. No, use the right hard drive, knucklehead. Um, and I'm just going to export it as it is, as a regular X, um, FBX file, doesn't really matter what we do here. Um, level of detail, collision. Um, I'm not going to change anything. So I'm just going to hit export, and it is now there and assets mesh. Now we're going to go back to this folder right here. Fix everything. And the folder that I put it into. Go to the correct holder. And I'm just going to... I'm actually going to rename it outside of the out engine. So it has a different name. Um, just going to go ahead and drag it in here, and I'm going to click Skeletal Mesh. None. Um, animation, we're not worried about. It's going to create its own fake animation. Um, Create new material. Do not create material. Import textures. I'm going to turn that off and try that. Let's try it. So we got the sword as a skeletal mesh. We have physics. We have a sword. And I don't need these guys. Delete. I kept the original material name right there, so I didn't have to change that. Um, yeah, good to go. Save all. So now we have a skeletal mesh that we can actually work with. Oh god, why did it keep that? Um, great sword and blah, 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 blah. then SM whatever. It it works. It's there. So let's actually go back to uh what was our weapon? Sword, talon, skeletal mesh, 
Go to our viewport. It's amazing what you can do whenever you just screw around and actually make shit up as you go along. Go to our mesh, select it here, go back here, bam. Um, now you can see which the way the orientation is on the blade there. So I'm going to have to rotate this to match. Now if you look at the capsule collision, does not match. Does not compute. Lovely. I'm gonna bump it up one more again. Lovely. So now we got the talon and we need to How do we go through the inventory here? Yeah, you're going to have to have a, a targeting system. That's just going to have to happen there. Um... What was... Shit, what was the damn thing? Um... to the damn store. Okay, so we'll die, go back to the menu. Um, options... No. How the hell did I get to the damn... Okay, well, I haven't changed the uh, the map stuff, so it was it's still devolving back to the uh, oh I for inventory. No oh, tab, sorry. Because you know, real people actually do that. Weapon, um, talon sword. There we go. Just need to adjust that a little bit. Kick some ass with it. Just gotta adjust the uh, the position a little high in the hand. See, I can't see what the hell's going on here. So you get ambushed. Top my ass. Oh, I don't want your damn stink. Don't put your stink on me, you bastard. Alright. Um, <laughs> so it works. We got our, our first one in here. Um, first new sword. Potions will definitely have to be done soon. So, not really that difficult to actually change out the weapons. So, let's actually pick out a few more. As we know, we want another sword. And I want something cool. We got some axes. Um, got some hammers. So yeah, we, can, we got stuff to work with. Um, Alright, here's the option to let you guys pick. And I'm just going to open up a couple of them. Nope, not you. For, to replace that other fancy sword with. Alright, here's our options. To replace... And let me find the other one. The 
Black Knight sword. So we're going to replace, just straight up replace. We're not going to add any new weapons right now. So to replace this one, we have this guy. Option number two, option number three, and option number four. I'm thinking number four, just for the coolness factor. So what do y'all think? To replace the uh, the Black Knight sword, replace that with that. I think that's what we should do. I know you guys got like a freaking four second delay, five second delay or more. So that was this one. Right click. Export. And I'm going to change the name now. that and then go back to my other folder yeah I like that one it looks pretty good go back to mesh drag the new one in skeletal mesh um, no animations do not create materials they all should be good uh -uh. new no. clear should you create your own frickin uh, skeleton see it was trying to, to shit me there and we'll do import and we don't need the UCX versions I don't know why it does that maybe I'm forgetting an option all right the names are still kind of shit there but whatever um but there she is save all and let's go ahead and fix that um mesh really quickly we don't need the preview asset for you I think that's the one we're using. Add preview asset. Let's move that back down. That should be good. Close. All right. Um, weapon. Black Knight viewport skeletal mesh. And. Go back to our mesh, go ahead and select it. Boop. Right there, material's already applied correctly. We just need to fix the capsule collision. Compost and save. If we hit play, hit tab weapon oh no um let's cheat weapon knight sword yep that's it let's change your skill out um fire wave Oh, that looked like shit for you guys. Burn that man up. 
<laughs> Hand isn't right. He's not wrapping his fingers around the sword. And I need to adjust the position just a wee bit. Spitting the stink, boy. I don't want your damn stink. I wasn't paying attention. So the next thing we gotta do here is um maps and modes thingy. Um let's uh close up some folders, I'll worry about changing weapons later. Um you know it's good to go. We can see how to do that now. Um, UI... No. Because it's one of the default to... a different map. Nope, that's not it. Um... I mean, it's cool and all that, but um, we want to go to our polygon map. Blueprints. Um, main menu game mode. I mean, I don't have anything against that first map, but it just doesn't... doesn't if, if you're going to use the Cindy Studios thing, you know, you really won't have the correct map, you know, with that kind of stuff in it. Um, environment... Well, first thing we can do here is go to Project Settings, Maps and Modes, Editor Startup, Action RPG, and game default is Action RPG Main. You know, I can I can fool with that later. Action RPG Main. That one. And not gonna compile lighting right now. But this is the map that it goes to first. That's fine, but at some point we'll just make another little small map like this. Wouldn't be that difficult. But I want to look at one more thing before we get out of here. And um, that is the time limit. Just so I can find it. Blueprints, progression, save game, uh, main menu game mode, BP game mode, let's see here, set global time dilation, restart game level, Game over, uh, restart. You know what? Um, game time in seconds. Start time, battle time. 60 seconds, right there. But where is that actual timer? Battle timer, that's the actual variable right there. Timer bonus per kill. You get two seconds per kill. Well, that's not good enough. You get ten seconds per per kill. Battle time, 60 seconds. I'm doubling that. Two minutes.
Alright, so you see the matinee actors and everything are still the same characters as before. So that would need to change also. You can see now you're here and they're not. See what I'm saying? As I come back over here, now I want to come back this way. I can't see. Don't spit your stink at me. See, they're spitting stink at me. I don't like that. Don't, cut you. don't put your stink on me. You damn goblin stink. What's wrong with you? Goblin stink again. Oh, see, we got a different one of our enemies now. Oh, get out of here. Holy shit, pickles. Yeah, see, I have no aim whatsoever on where I can actually cast my spells and that kind of stuff. Bang. So, that would be something. If I was going to get serious about this one, then I would damn sure need, like, an autofocus or um, just have it ping every so often and set a target. You know, because if you don't have a target, as soon as you hit your spell cast, it's just cast at whatever direction you're looking at. Not where your mouse is pointed or what have you. But, so there's some, some issues with their game mode. But you have to think, the game Ark, everybody likes Ark, right? Um, Ark was actually built using a shooter game template. And Ark looks nothing like shooter game, but you know it's just one of those things where uh, you start with something and you build upon it to make it exactly what you want. Um, shooter game has um, absolutely nothing to do with dinosaurs and harvesting and building and that kind of stuff. If you have not taken a look at it. Um, Shooter game, I don't think I have a project with that. And, no. Um, if you don't already have it, I think it was in either Learn or Marketplace. I think it was in the Learning tab. And you got to keep checking that Learning tab because there's some, some cool shit. Chaos Destruction Demo, Pixel Streaming... Uh, elemental demo is not bad. Um, kind of fiddle around with this one a little bit. I haven't done much with it though. Um, eh. Blueprint spline track. I eh, played around with that one a little bit. Action RPG is right here. And you know, just click on the cloud, and you can download the project and, and make your project and start working with it. Unreal Match 3, this is covering mobile matchmaking. I haven't played around with this, but it's designed for Oculus Rift. Doesn't mean that I can't just modify it. Well, there we go, Shooter Game. 
A vehicle game's not bad either. I don't think I've tested this one here, but it's C++. But, shooter game, um, there's a lot of blueprints in it as well, but all you'd have to do is just click on the cloud, and I've already got the asset and everything, so... If you have not played around with um, shooter game, and you're interested in, in a shooting game, it's finally upgraded to 424, so... Optimized for Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and demonstrated on Linux. Licensed for use with Unreal Engine based products. Okay, so you can use this right here and create project and bam, go right ahead and create a project. I will look to see, I should have it downloaded. I'm not 100%, but. Um, but it's definitely worth looking at. And damn, I got a lot of assets in here. Yeah, shooter grain. So, make create project shooter game. Yeah. So the files I think are already. Oh no, shit. Well. <coughs> we'll take a look at this one for uh, another time since it's going to have to download it at 1.6 gigabytes and it's going to screw with my stream we'll get out of here for now um, but definitely take a look at Shooter Game we'll look at that either uh, Wednesday or Friday and um, or you know, if you want I'll do another stream tomorrow or screw it, I might even do something later tonight but um, shooter game, if you're interested in first person third person shooters you definitely need to get into that um, like I said, it's free you can modify it however you want to like I said, the game arc was based off of this free asset pack you can get from Epic and it's actually not bad what I ought to do is go ahead and take this and modify it to use my multiplayer <laughs> my little Steam template and um, make it easier to, to find and host games. In fact, let me just do that. Um, actually making the um, RPG game kit into multiplayer cooperative, I don't think it's going to happen. Um, so sorry for you know dropping frames or anything gets stupid on the stream right now, but um do need to look at that the uh the intro is using sequences level sequencers and I have never messed with that before so I'm not gonna um let's look at maps if I select main and hit play there we go so start game options um, in the options you got radius documentation clear save data um, you can uncheck music uncheck sound effects and that's it but an unreal engine for learning resource So what is in the blueprint itself? Not a hell of a lot. Event begin play, set virtual joystick, um, mouse cursor widget, okay. Grab hand. So I guess uh, yeah, I didn't pay attention to that being a um a I don't see anything special about the uh Cursor. UI RPG fonts. Interesting. Um, where the hell's the widgets? Where's the actual widget blueprint? Well, we'll leave it at that. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. 
watching what we got here. Converting over the um, Cindy Studio characters' weapons. Meh. Meh. Get over here. So we traded the characters out, we traded out the weapons. We didn't change out all the weapons yet, but we traded out the uh, two weapons. And no, uh, you guys didn't click to watch this video so you can sit here and watch me playing with myself. I mean, playing by myself here. Um, if I was going to do a multiplayer project, I think I would just start ripping components out of this, maybe the animations and stuff. You know? Since we see they're obviously working pretty well with them. Wow, that was quick. Um, time bonus is 60 seconds. But yeah. It works. I said I would probably go ahead and just start ripping things out since we already got all the blueprints converted. Um, technically speaking, um, yeah, since all these are already done, we could just transfer the um, stuff over to a, another project. Or just grab all this and just start ripping out the rest of the crap. But yeah, I mean, to migrate some of this over, uh, I would. We'll move over the animations. They're already there. They're already working. Um, just transfer them into another project. And, yeah. It's got decent AI as well, too. Um, that's the downside. Is There's a lot of cool stuff already in there, but I think it'd be easier to just go ahead and start from scratch. And just use these animations, um, use the Cindy characters, uh, use some of the Cindy particle effects, uh, things like that. Because, I mean, in Polygon Dungeons, you've got um, Candle Flame, Regular Fire, Glow. I and mean, if you, you change out all the menu and that kind of stuff, if you're going to do that much changing around, you might as well start from scratch. So. Kind of cool. All right. Let's get out of here. And I want to thank everybody for watching. And we shall see you.